everybody. This is a little random video. I just had somebody request this. They were saying that um, their twin is with somebody. They just had a baby and they don't know how to handle that. They have a lot of negative feelings towards the person. The thing about that is, is I know you want to hate them and you want to scream and yell and fight and cry and, and tear them up and curse them into oblivion. And, you know, maybe a lot yourself 10, 15, 20 minutes, even a half hour to cry it out if you really, really must because sometimes that can be healing. But then after that, cut it off and you need to send them love. And the reason is they're put on this journey to learn something as well. Um, my, my favorite thing to say is the chicken and the egg. You know, if there's a little chicken growing in an egg and you crack the egg open before the chicken's ready to hatch, it's not going to be fully developed and it's not going to live. The relationship will not live. So this person is not fully developed. There's a part of them that still needs to grow. It still needs to learn something. And they are not being true to themselves and their true self projected outward. To be a twin and to be in union, you have to be your true self. I did not find my twin until after I was completely honest with myself and I embraced my magical side and I embraced everything that I had been shunning because society told me I needed to shun it. So if you're somebody who you're you're in a um, twin relationship but your twin is in a different relationship, I know that it's so hard to give them love but you need to at least love yourself. Um, go out and have fun, not necessarily go hoe it up or anything like that. I don't suggest that. Your your energy is your sacred energy and keep it to yourself unless you absolutely want to share it with somebody. But do stuff that makes you feel good. Go take yourself out. Go have some ice cream. Get your toes done. Uh, go see a movie. Go go take a friend to mini golf or um, I don't know, they've got the lockup rooms now or there's, you know, water parks some places. Do something fun. Do something to get your energy moving into a positive direction. Don't go to the alcohol. Alcohol is not the cure for this. If you're mad, alcohol is the last thing you need. Go pick up some tea. Go drink something cleansing. Go get some doTERRA oils and put them in some water and do something to help lift up your vibration. Um, I use stones to help me too. Go get yourself a nice grounding stone, something that feels good in your hand. And I mean, almost all stones are protective. Almost all stones pull out negativity. So get yourself something that you can just hold on to and feel really good about. And you can squeeze the beep out of it if you get angry and ask the stone to take that negativity from you. Because we don't want to project negativity outward. And we want our twin just to get together and, and, and get their life together. Now, this is a possibility I've been telling all of my clients. You may or may not like this, but this is how I feel. Instead of saying the person you think is your twin's name, stop doing that. Stop saying their name. Stop seeing their face. However, you do say, thank you, universe or God or whatever you want to pray to for bringing me my true twin and my perfect partner. Okay? So that's your true twin and your perfect partner. Alright? Because we want the universe to get the perfect person to you. If it turns out that it was right, that it was the person you were thinking of, you'll be like, woo, I was right. I got my twin. Yay. If it turns out for some small reason you were wrong, you won't care because your true twin will be in your life and you will be in union and you will be happier than you've ever been in your, been in your entire life. And you'll just wish that other person good luck. Um, if you've been really working on yourself, really, 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 really working on yourself to raise your vibration and the person you think is your twin, they aren't. They seem to just be going down a deep, 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 deep path. I will say there's a really good possibility that it's not your true twin. They could be a soulmate. They could be a false flame. They could be a karmatic partner. There's a million things they could be. They could be another twin flame, but not your twin flame. So you've got the twin flame energy, but they're not your twin flame. They actually have a different twin flame um, because you will mirror your twin. On my twin's good days, I'm happy before we even talk. And then I see him and he's had a good day and I've had a good day. If he's having a bad day, I have a bad day and vice versa. And when he decided to quit drinking and better himself was right around the time I did. And we were not in communication. There's a lot of things that really do equal out and add up. So if your twin is like, wow, they're not acting like they're on the same level with me. Possibility is they're not. So instead of focusing on them, continue to be doing good stuff for yourself. And just change it to thank you for my true twin and my perfect partner. That way, if you're right. Woohoo. If you're wrong, it won't matter because you still called the right thing to you. All right. So I hope that helped. Um, if not, leave me a comment below. If it did, leave a comment below. Please share this, like it, all that good stuff. Subscribe. Check out my Patreon and anything else that's good like that. All right.
拜。